More than a week after the devastating Adelaide Hills bushfires, donations continue to be made for those affected by the disaster. But it isn't only material support. The CFS has been inundated with volunteers seeking a role on the front line. Tom Fedorovich reports. These are the scenes that hundreds of CFS volunteers faced in the Adelaide Hills. They are inspiring people. We're inspired by them. I hope the community is as well. There's a clear sign it has been, with more than 1,000 people contacting the CFS in the week after the bushfire broke out. Some people were happy to donate money, others are happy to donate goods or other services, and some you know, just want to be part of the next action because they want to be there and do the same sorts of things that the SEA volunteers doing. A surge of interest isn't unusual after major bushfires. The CFS says many Metropolitan and Hills Brigades already have long waiting lists, while it needs more help in rural and regional areas. If we can get volunteers to put their hand up for those brigades, we'll be more than happy to take them on. The final toll the fire took on more than 300 properties is being tallied. More than 700 animals perished, most of them sheep, and another 250 had to be put down. Persa says it could have been much worse. Most people had actually moved a large number of livestock before Christmas because the grazing had deteriorated. So we were lucky there were very few livestock left by the time the fires came through. Surviving animals have a brighter future, with the flood of offers to help with grazing and fodder. Tom Fedorovich, ABC News, Adelaide.